Hi, it's Chris Dunaway again, and now we're moving into module 2.3. We'll talk about some more benefits of compost and humus in the soil. It increases the water holding capacity, increases aeration, and reduces soil erosion. How does it do this? For one thing, humus can hold almost twice its weight in water. So every 100 pounds of humus can hold 195 pounds of water. So that's a lot of storage capacity. It increases soil structure with aggregation, which increases water penetration. So rather than the water running over the top, it's gonna to go down into the soil. And by increasing this water penetration, we're gonna decrease erosion by, instead of just picking up those soil particles and moving across in the flow, that water is gonna go down, it won't get that momentum to carry the soil away. So we're not gonna have the erosion. Increased soil fertility and crumb structure increases plant growth and abundance. So the more you have that good soil structure because you've got that organic material, the better your plants are gonna do, they're gonna uh, be able to pick up the nutrients better and they're just gonna do better. It does decrease raindrop impact and we've already discussed as it increases water absorption and slows the, uh, the flow of surface water. So again, that's going back to erosion, but this thing about the raindrops is important. Anytime a raindrop hits the soil, it's gonna splash a little bit. Now, in our home gardening class, we discussed how that soil, the particles splashing up onto the plant is one of the major uh, sources of plant disease. So by reducing that splatter, we're really helping the plants. And deep, healthy plant roots not only they uh, increase water intake, they increase nutrient uptake, but they also help secure the plant in the ground. Good soil aeration is essential for the CO2 gas and oxygen exchange. So we all know that plants need carbon dioxide in the leaves to survive, but actually the roots need oxygen to survive. And when they're denied that oxygen, they can die just as like you and I can. The, uh, the soil structure and the presence of humus also increases the aerobic, uh, is good for the aerobic microorganisms, including the mycorrhizae. So they need the nutrients, they need the air, uh, just like we do, and the moisture. And it also is essential for the chemical conversion of soil components into, plant, into the forms that plants can utilize the nutrients. So Dr. Joe already mentioned that these just putting the, the humus out is not going to give you fertilizer. It takes a long time. These biological processes still need to work on that material to make it available for the plants, but it's critical to have the, uh, this good soil structure for that. So just some notes about soil structure. Um, again, water holding capacity, it decreases aer uh, increases aeration of the soil and pore space and decreases erosion. Thanks.